happy to be with you again with my neuromanagement video presentation. Now, last time, if you remember, I had talked about, I had presented a case study where an insider was converted from negativity to positivity in his attitude. Now, I'll be talking about another case from another company where an outsider was converted. This is about an ABC company which belonged to a very big group, Indian multinational. And this company was in the iron and steel industry. Now XYZ Bank, the bankers of the company, had an application from this company, ABC, for enhancement of the cash credit limit by 6 crores or something. I don't remember offhand. Now the new senior general manager, senior general manager in charge of the Eastern India, the region, was one Mr. Shankar Vishwanathan. He had just come from Chennai and he was very egoistic. He would not give sanction even when the GM Finance visited him, even when the managing director of the company visited him. So the application was collecting dust on his desk. Now the GM Finance, Sujit Bose, had attended my workshop and he was thinking about how to devise a strategy. He consulted me. So I told him, find out what are the fancies of Mr. Vishwanathan. And Sujit consulted from junior fellows in the bank and they said, Vishwanathan Saab is very much interested in some visiting some elite club of Calcutta. Now Sujit was a member of the Calcutta club. Sujit had earlier invited Mr. Vishwanathan for a lunch at the Opera Grand Taj Bengal or the park, but he had refused. He was a pure vegetarian. On that ground, he had refused. Now this time again, Sujit proposed to him that, Sir, I would like to take you for lunch, out for lunch to the Calcutta club. There's no response, but he digested this information. He said, I'm very busy. I cannot give you time. So he refused once, he refused twice, but Sujit went on with a lot of perseverance and finally after a month he agreed. So Sujit picked him up, but before picking the previous day, Sujit had a briefing meeting with the staff of the Calcutta club. He told the security man at the gate that when I enter, you salute me as Bose Sahab sir. He also briefed the receptionist, the steward of the restaurant and also the staff of the restaurant. So when Sujit entered with Vishwanathan, this was uh, mimicked, means the security guard, he saluted him, he said, sir, good afternoon. And then the receptionist also saluted him, Bosab, welcome with your respectable guest and like that. So Mr. Vishwanathan was very impressed. They had lunch and when again Sujit was dropping Mr. Vishwanathan, Vishwanathan told him in a whispering voice, Mr. Bose, can you send your man tomorrow? You don't have to come, nor I would like to meet your MD. Your sanction letter will be ready. And when his man went the next day, the sanction letter was handed over. What did Mr. Bose do? Which I had taught him 25 years ago was ego satisfaction. Ego is in the paleomammalian brain, which I have learned recently within the last two years or so. Now you remember the SCARF model of Dr. David Rock. SCARF stands S for status. So he enhanced the status of Mr. Vishwanathan. So status need was enhanced. C stands for certainty, A for autonomy, R for relatedness and F for fairness. Now in this particular case study, the status need was satisfied. So what did you think of this case? These are all live cases and I'll be sharing more such live cases with you in future. Thank you very much. We'll meet you once again very soon.